Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Zin today. I did make a Zin video kind of recently on a similar subject, so this is technically me revisiting something that I've already done, but honestly, that video was so much fun that I kind of feel like it deserves to be done again with, like, refined setups, and also now, if I have a little bit of a practice with it, I should hopefully do better than I did in that first video, which is more of, like, a first impressions type of thing. I'm, of course, specifically talking about Counter Zin, which you were probably able to guess from, like, the thumbnail and the title and stuff, but this is the new version of uh, the loadout which I think has changed quite a bit since the last time I showed it off and also I've got two different ones here for him which we're not going to be playing with today but they've also been tweaked but yeah today we're going to be playing max counter zin again but this is going to kind of be a v2 we have viciousness level five for reset we have perfect block for a heal whenever somebody hits into our counter tiny bit of footwork actually less than I used to rock infamy and then found the flames level four now this is I think the new addition to uh, the setup I didn't go back and check the other video but I'm pretty sure I didn't have found the flames in there honestly I have it in there just because I'm so adjusted to it at this point I've been rocking it with zin for as long as I can remember so it feels kind of weird if I get a kill and don't get my Q reset and I'm just kind of used to it at this point and also and also with the positions in is kind of in at the moment all of his talents are kind of meh Yomi isn't particularly crazy guillotine is still probably his best choice and then Smolder is also pretty mediocre talent wise he's honestly been hit probably the hardest out of most characters I can think of off the top of my head Smolder got nerfed one or two possibly even three times Yomi obviously got the piercing effect moved to his kit so this one technically wasn't nerfed it was just moved I guess Yomi is basically the same it's just not as powerful in itself now Yuzin is just powerful by by default and guillotine obviously got the immunity removed from it so all of his talents are not in the best spot ever but card wise he's actually doing pretty good he's got like a good like 10 cards i'd say that i see on him pretty regularly zin he isn't that popular of a character in himself his card selection is pretty decent whenever i do see him played he's a little bit unpredictable i just said under predictable that is not a word i'm just really really bad at english but yeah that is the setup we're going to be running with i'm not sure what talent i'll go for it really just depend on uh, the situation probably be between guillotine and uh, freaking smolder i really forgot the name of it there because i don't think yomi is that good of a choice at the moment because it only buffs it out by 150 most of the time I feel like I'm going to get more of a benefit from the other two but this is Siege Bazaar which I'd say is actually a pretty rough map for Zinar. I'm going to go ahead and use a booster so I can use the Eben Star skin or Eben Star skin because I've barely played with this one whatsoever. Shoutouts to a Marende? Marende? I don't know. I can't pronounce Eben or Eben and I also can't pronounce Marende or Miranda. I don't know. We're going with Miranda. Shoutouts Miranda. That's definitely not how you pronounce it but I'm rolling with it. Shoutouts also to Kefalo or Kefalo. I don't know but that is the term and the Andra. We also have an Amani and seemingly a sky sky support isn't as good as it was before but it's definitely still a pretty decent option i don't know if i'd like it as a solo support option but you know it might be all we've got if i go for smolder i can kind of self heal but it does seem like sky is that last pick we're up against uh, leon and andro and evie a uh, genos and a barracks they have a much more standard setup but they still have a uh, double flank damage tank except they have a genos and we have a sky who might be a healer i, I don't know she might just be playing as damage i'm sure those of you guys that watch the channel a ton will maybe find this a little bit out of character me covering something that i covered like a month and a half ago because i don't usually revisit stuff this soon if anything i revisit them like half a year to a year afterwards when a bunch of stuff has changed yeah i felt like this was a bit of an exception just because i wanted to cover it more and i don't feel like i did a good enough job in the first video but we're gonna go ahead and i guess go for smolder yeah sure we're gonna go for smolder and then counter screw it. i don't know if we actually get the cooldown reduction if we hit a shield but i'm pretty sure we do i could be completely wrong with that we're gonna go ahead and grab some court we got curse of Evolver. we got crush should be kind of nice as for the enemy team we're up against eminence curse of Evolver, wormhole architectronics and luminary so super standard stuff also so Smoke and Dagger Sky, so she is going for a healer, although she doesn't have the right cards for it, which is a bit of a shame. Pretty sure I played with a couple people on their side before, and I'm expecting this to be a little bit rough, and then we also have uh, Splitting Ice. Honestly, this is not looking all that good, but I'm not going to give up at the start of a match. I'm going to run in and just play it as if everything was normal. I've already taken a beating. There we go, that's the first death. I was just trying to hold down the point with Term, and, and pretty much the entire team wiped there. But yeah, the servers are still pretty damn messed up. They're a little bit better, I think, than they were before. I just countered his counter, get wrecked. Oh, he's actually dead as well. That was pretty damn smooth, but yeah, there's still kind of messed up i'm hoping that they will work in our favor because we're playing counters in and he can actually absorb a couple shots with his counter because the delay is kind of weird also didn't realize that they hadn't captured the objective already for some reason in my head they'd already won but i guess not and it does seem like if i hit a turret or a shield it does actually give me the cooldown reset that's pretty nice it's good to know oh i actually hit it with that 700 maybe i should go in no we'll just throw it over there for the andrew and seven to pop the billow it doesn't even heal us for that much considering it's been nerfed so much it's like a 500 heal which is pretty damn bad all right whatever we'll just keep slashing away at these guys there is a counter i just got hit by an EV with my counter up? Did she hit me from the side, maybe? It looked like I was able to have blocked that, but I guess not. Definitely seem to be struggling a little bit so far. I probably shouldn't have queued for Siege, considering I'm trying to play goddamn max counter Zin, but hey, I'm trying to work with it. Term is already dropping the GG just because we don't have a healer. Honestly, I can't say that I blame him. There is a counter for the barrack. I'm just going to throw the slash through and go into my billow. I don't know why you picked Sky. I think Sky would have actually been okay. I think the main problem is the fact that she went for Sky without like a healer Sky setup, which I don't know why you wouldn't have 
set up considering the healer sky has been a thing uh, for quite a while now but maybe he just forgot who knows there the slash for the genos do i go ahead and pop an ult i don't know i was just about to go into my queue but that actually killed me there we go there is the defense failed a little bit of a 700 though before the round is over didn't bother popping my ult that wouldn't have really been much of a point amani saying genos nerf that is completely random andrew just said sky was supposed to heal i honestly think it would have been fine if she went for a setup but she heals for so little with this sort of loadout that i don't even see the point in going for smoke and dagger if you're not going to combo it with a loadout or actually no apparently she was never going for healer sky so why did she go for smoke and dagger and just saying oh so you're just a dick i don't really know why you'd pick sky into this matchup if you weren't going to pick like a healer setup but i guess it doesn't really matter it's a casual siege after all i'm not going to be salty there is a counter i also hit him with a slash that just straight up dealt no damage if that doesn't show you that the servers are kind of messed up at the moment what else could i really show you it's going to dash away there we go i actually lived at sky on term going for an all i have mine don't know if it would make sense to use it here but yeah sure we'll go ahead and just slash away at the back a little bit that's genos all i got kicked back miles there but there's a slash onto her didn't deal any damage because she dashed away there is the q oh i'm totally dead oh hell yeah i'm totally gone here there is the counter that healed me for 150 i'm actually not gone just yet i just countered something i think i actually countered that leanne shot she's going for an ult there we go how am i alive i feel like i should have died like three times now already there is my counter hit me please nope okay what is going on with my shots did he hear my counter i don't know how i'm still alive what the actual shit is going on right now that sentence didn't even make any sense this is so goddamn messy i'm trying to kind of hit the genos a little bit but barak is also just here so i'm gone i did contest the point for a decent amount of time there i should have died at least three times i don't know how i kept getting super lucky i feel like the server lag was actually kind of working on my side there we do have recovery mechanic which got us 50 percent of it already but i don't really feel like we stand much of a chance of winning this game or even recovering this point but i'm going to go ahead and give it an effort sky is just hiding there in viz so i'm going to go and try and deal with the ev I, I guess what am i doing i don't know there's my count i really thought you were just going to suicide but nope that's another 700 for you there's the objective loss probably should have dived on that but nobody's even here so i'll just be jumping on for a free death for myself at least this way i can go out with a bit of damage there we go <laughs> term said it's not your duty i think he's talking about the healer sky there is my q but you had last pick yeah that's the bit that confused me is i would assume that she would be going for healer sky because i think she was the last person to lock in but i guess not do have my ult again so i guess i can go for it yeah uh, sure not really all that useful there's a counter there is my q i really wish that billow healed me for a bit more there's a counter for uh, the anjo he missed all my shots how am i actually getting counter out after my counter goes down i think the server lag is actually working in my favor in that aspect i am probably dead there's a counter nobody even hit into me there i think the term was blocking me i could go jump onto it i don't think we're going to get there in time up there is the defeat well we can swiftly move on it might seem like i cut a lot out of that game but that was honestly really really quick that was a zero four to them so props to the enemy team for doing really really well I feel like we had a pretty big disadvantage straight off the bat anyway there we go there are the stats for game one we'll go through them pretty quick amani did all right sky did all right andrew did all right we did a bit better than i actually expected there but i feel like i actually didn't do too bad the term i did fine on their side the engine did pretty good the jones did really really good the barrack did pretty decent leon did really good and so i did the evie although i guess evie's technically on at the lower end of that spectrum there overall they just had the better team so we'll go ahead and jump into a game two we'll probably do three matches today but that first one definitely wasn't a good example of counters in even if it was some good fun i don't feel like i showed it off very well so let's hopefully do a little bit better in game two all right well for game two we've got tdm bish shout outs to tin tala or tin taylor i don't know that is the will we also have an evie a grok and a mave i've gone ahead and switched up the skin for zin we're up against a buck a mave a vivian a ying and a zin so they have triple flank with a damage and then a ying we have basically the exact same thing thing is with this even if you lose a match super hard and you play really really badly it's still a decent amount of fun to run around with counters in although i will say sword on the other hand didn't feel all that helpful so i'm actually going to switch over to uh, guillotine no actually screw it. i'm going to go for yomi it definitely doesn't make the most amount of sense guillotine even would probably be a more useful just don't really feel like going for the one that gives us the health regen because it's only like 30 percent and i feel like the extra 150 damage will probably help us out more that's the counter okay just hit a wall sure the effects on this skin are really really pretty there is an 850 feels like it hits really really hard at 850 but that used to be the standard because pretty much everybody used to go for emoji sword animation was a bit freaking janky there but there is the billow the yellow color is a bit weird i feel like it should be more orange but thank you for the heals grok hello enemies in oh okay i just butchered that play but there it's an 854 uh, the mave get rid of this mave she's on no health there we go actually hit a midair nice let's get rid of this vivian she just juked me i think by accident let's go and finish her off there's the double no one want to hit me i'm trying to block but nobody's actually firing so i just kind of stood in the middle there with my counter up the zin missed me with his counter what is this play maybe we can finish off the mave oh hello buck oh my god i actually just killed him and somehow i'm still alive thank you for the heals my guy i'm gonna go ahead and get a bit more caught we currently seem to be kind of shredding the enemy team let's go ahead and hit him with an 850 nice finish him off he hasn't got that much health there's the counter okay thank you for the free hit there's another one cool the zin just went off of the map there is another one this vivian is very clearly not that experienced because she just keeps hitting into me that is like the freaking third counter in a row i've actually landed 
it. Thank you again for those heals. Grok will get a reload in, pull up the counter. There we go. Okay, I'm just dead. There were three people there, but Eevee did throw an ult and got rid of one of them. So I go ahead and just use my one here, see if we can hit the, yeah, sure, Vivian. She's kind of the least important character for me to get rid of because she's not very good, but yeah, she's dead, I guess. Let's see if we can get rid of somebody else. Not going to happen because I'm on no health. Oh, I'm totally still gone though, right? I I'm totally still gone. Or maybe, maybe not. I just think I hit him, but it went into his counter. I'm dead. At the buck on the other side. Okay, I was just about to spin around to try and do something, but that didn't give me enough time. Get some damage on this Zin. There is the counter. Kind of just using it for a speed buff. Thank you for firing into it. There is the counter again. There's the billow. I'm blind, so this way we can actually survive. Just kind of spamming some stuff down range here. That was a double 850. Jesus Christ, that extra freaking damage from Yomi is actually super cool. There is a free kill. Thank you for firing at me. Is Buck going to jump over? I see him up the top, but I was expecting him to maybe make a leap of faith. It's going to go into the billow because the may vaulted again. Buck is going in for blood. It seems there is the spin. Can we finish him off? Can we kill him with his own shit? There we go. That actually kind of worked. I meant to say hit there, but yeah, sure that works too. Let's go ahead and throw some more stuff out. That Zin is not looking very good. He is gone. There's a counter. Didn't hit anybody. Am I going to bother to ult you? Oh, it's a bad idea. I've got no health. Okay, I forget I'm not immune anymore. <laughs> not like I'd be immune anyway. I haven't even gone for goddamn Guillotine. I've gone for Yomi, but they have actually evened out the score a bit, which is kind of funny. I honestly thought we had this in the bag, but they pulled it back. The Zin is pushing up here on the Grok, but he is out. Grok is doing a pretty good job overall. There is a counter. Thank you for the free reset. There's another one. I'm guessing you're not going to hit me because you're goddamn doing your Q animation, but he is out. There's my Billo. Popped that a little bit late, but I think we are fine. Let's kill this Maeve. Never mind. I'm dead to the Maeve who I was just trying to dash through. Seems like they have literally perfectly evened it out because the score is perfectly even. There's a count onto the Zin. Thank you for uh, the free double. We've now got a two point lead. Let's also get rid of this Maeve. Oh, I hit that 850 mid air. That was just nasty. Let's also kill her. Hell yeah. I'll take a quadra. It's been a while since I've had a quadra or anything. The animations on that look really, really weird. Where am I even going? I don't know. Let's kill uh, the Zim. I only have one ammo. I'm just going to stand here and hope the enemy team doesn't see me. Just going to do a bit of fire breathing emo into the floor. Yeah, sure. What is the plan? I'm just going to roll in onto this Vivian. Yeah, sure. The Ying is also here. Let's get rid of Vivian first because she actually hurts. And then let's finish off the Ying. Yeah, sure. That was completely unnecessary, but whatever. Seems like they're taking the defensive route. They're 35 to 35, so they could definitely still win this. That didn't kill the freaking Vivian. She's actually still alive. Really thought they would get her there. Seems like they managed to pull through with a win, though, because it's 35 to 39. I don't know how we didn't get a single kill and they got four, but hey, I guess that's the situation. I am probably the last death, though, because I'm expecting this is in to chase me down. I don't know if I actually did die there or if that was somebody else, but yeah, there's the defeat. I feel like overall we probably do deserve the loss because they did play more like a team than we did, but here we go, game two. So yeah, there we go. There are the stats for game two. We did pretty damn decently there. 16-7-7, 57k. More than happy with that. I feel like we did significantly above most people in that game, and considering I was playing counters in, that's good enough. Going through the rest of them, Maeve had a really tough time there. 316, 24k is really rough. Grok was trying his best for sure. The Eevee also didn't do particularly badly, and Willow did pretty decent. I'd say the only person that really stands out doing badly is at Maeve. As for their side, Ying did pretty good. Vivian was definitely a bit of a weak link. The Buck didn't do particularly good. Maeve did a little bit above average just with uh, the kills, but her damage is kind of low, and I guess the Zin didn't do particularly impressive either. Pretty standard stuff on their side all around. All right, anyway, for game three, we've got Onslaught Primal Court. We'll do one with each mode. I've gone ahead and switched up the Zin skin as well, so we're, so we're covering all three of his skins and covering him in all three of the game modes. I think this one should be probably the best situation for it, though, because it's super up close. We've got a Moji, a Ying, a Lex, and a Grok. This time around, we also have supports, so maybe this will be a better match. As for the enemy team, we're up against a Damber, a Sky, a Drogos, a Rom, and a Moji. So this does seem like the best situation for it so far. We did have a support just there in a game two, but game one we didn't. It does seem like overall this is the best situation for it. We'll go ahead and grab Guillotine for sure, because they have a Rom, and then we'll just go for Counter Zin. This might be my favorite skin out of the lot, just because those fire effects are really, really pretty. We'll of course go ahead and grab some Cauterize. We've got Totemic Ward, we've got Discovery, we've got Resonance. We're up against Fusilard, Debilitate, Boom Boom. Rakona's Wrath might be kind of annoying. Boom Boom on our freaking Moji as well, and then whatever the Rom goes for. Seems like their Rom went for Earth Splitter, but there is First Blood on the freaking Ceres. Not a Ceres, it's a Sky. Let's get rid of the Dam, but I got some pretty good shots in there. Let's roll in and maybe finish him off. Oh, he's totally gone, right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Didn't even realize you could actually get on that little pillar thing. Hello, Drogos. I'm uh, behind you. I, I guess you just don't care. That was really janky. I tried to hit the Ceres there. Not a Ceres still. How am I this bad with names? Let's go over to the right and deal some damage on the point. Moji is just here. I'm going to get a slash or two as soon as she's out of it. There is the counter and the one hit that didn't land, but luckily somebody was there to save my ass. Let's pull up the counter. No one to hit him into me. Okay, he did, but I'm in combat now, so that sucks. There we go. Finally healed up from being out of combat. Now we can start dealing some damage again. Just get some free stuff into the ROM, I suppose. We'll pull up the counter because he can't stop firing as easily as some of the other characters will go in to make sure he is actually out. And I guess I could try and pop an ult. Let's actually go in onto this damage. This should be a pretty free one. There we go. Moji left him really, really low. We'll ult the ROM next time we see him. ROM is just here. I guess I might as well go for it because nobody's going to kill me. Yeah, there we go. That gives us a ton of free damage. Thank you for the free damage on the Moji as well. There is the double. Oh, I'm probably gone here, aren't I? Or maybe
maybe not. There is the counter. Nobody hit into me. Drogos is behind me, though. There is the spin. Kind of carried momentum, although I am still uh, gone. I put in an effort. I made that super awkward. That's uh, Grok going for the ult to get some damage onto this ROM. Really, I'm just trying to gem my ult pretty easily. There goes Sky. There is uh, the Billow. Sure, I also got a little bit of morale boost just so I can spam my ult as much as possible onto uh, this ROM. He is nearly gone. There we go. Might as well run in a little bit. There is a counter. He's going for the solo ult. Okay, I'm stunned. I might actually still die here. He isn't hitting me. There is the Q. I'm probably still gone. No, Ying is healing me. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Seems like we are currently kind of shredding the enemy team. There's a counter for her. Why do people just fire into it? That's so weird. He is totally gone here. Yeah, there we go. There's a counter for the Drogos. I don't know if he missed his shot or if he just purposely avoided me, but hey, this doesn't really matter. Ram is doing laps. We're just going to go ahead and ultimate point blank range to remove him for free. The viewpoint on that is still very, very bugged when you get out of the animation. It kind of sucks. There's the Billow. The Drogos has very little awareness of what's going on. It seems there is the spin. There's the counter again. I'm totally dead. None of my abilities are up. I can't really do anything. Just trying to hide behind a tree. Just went ahead and finished off our quarter rise. We currently have a 150 point lead, which is kind of mad. I think the Drogos might actually be a bot, which would probably explain a lot. Unintentional rhyme, but yeah, I think he actually isn't playing. Let's get rid of this Damba, who definitely is. There we go. Actually managed to hit him with that 700. Sky is still here somewhere. There goes Moji. Nearly there is the Billow. I can't get out of this early. There's a hit and the counter. She actually just killed herself. I feel kind of bad. Uh, that one is Drogos going to chase. Is he even a person? I think he must be a person because that play there, he predicted where I was going to go. I just dismounted the Damba. How rude. I think he might be, but I don't think I'd bet money on it. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. It's honestly kind of hard to tell, but hey, Sky, you're definitely not. Let's get rid of her. Trying to trace her. Did a terrible job, but she's still uh, gone. We can also ult this Ram in a second. Just going to F up here. Get a slash and go straight for it. There we go. A bunch of extra free damage. My damage stat better look goddamn good. I don't think he's a bot because he's not playing like a bot. He's just playing weird. He's not flying around at all. Playing Drogos like somebody who hasn't ever played Drogos before, but there goes the emoji. Our emoji kind of confused me for a second there. We'll F ourselves over. Go in onto this Damba. He is nearly gone. No, Drogos is just kind of looking at me. That was a Sky ult, but this doesn't really matter. There we go. None of us even died to that. We currently have a massive point lead, and I'm honestly just kind of making my way through the enemy team. Thought that Slash would have made it through. We're going to put that down to the server lagging. Drogos went ahead and ulted the Sky. Let's get rid of their Sky. There we go. Not Sky. Ying. That's what I was trying to say. I'm just really bad. Our name today. Or was it Sky? No, it was Ying. Yeah, we don't even have a Sky. What am I talking about? I need to be paying attention to the screen. Let's go ahead and ult the Ram. Actually made that, although he's still up because of his goddamn soul armor counter. The ultimate, and he is dead. I didn't even kill him, but uh, Ying did. We're going to wiggle over wiggle over to the side. Get some more hits onto this Damba. Can't believe I actually missed that one. That stun nearly got me killed. Can I finish him here? This is risky. No, I'm dead. Okay. All right, sure. Fair enough. He actually beat me out, but there is the victory. We had a 300 point lead, I think, in that match, which was pretty damn massive. Way better way I'd have ended it off than if I'd have finished it on the second game. But yeah, there we go. There are the stats for game three. I don't feel like I did particularly bad in any of the matches, but I definitely did better in game two than in game one, and same with game three in comparison to game two and one. But yeah, we'll go through them top to bottom. Grok did all right. Nothing crazy. I feel like I did pretty damn decent. 17, 3, 75k. More than happy with that. Obviously, a bunch of that damage is us just ulting the ROM, but I feel like I was playing pretty good even if I wasn't. Then we have Ying, who also did pretty good. Lexi did pretty decent. Moji, who shredded on their side. Sky did average. Drogas did average. ROM did average. Moji did a bit under average because she has a lot of deaths. And then Damba, I guess, also did average for that match. I feel like me and Moji maybe should have been put on separate teams, but overall, that was a pretty weird game. Definitely seemed like matchmaking didn't really know where to put me or the Moji, but yeah, there we go. That was max counter Zin. Definitely a lot of fun. I didn't really use my counter as much as I was expecting to in the three games. I feel like I didn't really rely on it all that often because even if you do get the counter and you hit somebody, you still have like a second or two of freaking cooldown. Even if you go for Max Kronos, it is still a little bit janky. You still have a bit of a cooldown in there where you can easily die because if you use your Q, you use your F and you pull up that right click and they take it down, you've not really got any way to get away. Yeah, either way, I hope you have enjoyed some more counters in. Hopefully the servers go back to normal sometime soon because even though I am recording like my normal videos, I don't feel like I can do proper videos because the servers just make the matches super inconsistent. Playing with any sort of characters that require accurate timing or just accuracy in general is a little bit tough. Sometimes you have matches that don't have it. That is one thing I will say. Every now and again, I do have games that are just like normal paladins. Normal paladins might be the wrong word, but matches that work correctly the way that they should. The servers work fine, but I feel like 80% of the games are still really, really laggy and just don't really work properly and stuff is just delayed on kind of everybody's end. Yeah, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you all very, very soon. And as always, stay frost there.